select Pipet and in Motion Panel click Footstep Mode. Under Footstep Creation you have two options. One lets you draw your own footsteps and second option will create automatic footsteps. Here you can set up preferences before you create footsteps. Under Foot Operations you find two additional options. One option lets you scale and second option lets you bend. You can use bend to change direction or create straight animation like a strafe left or strafe right. For my animation I want to keep my character walking forward but I want to make adjustments to the upper body because my character will carry a weapon. So I select all the keys on the upper body and I'll delete them. With upper body selected, I turn the auto key and I'll set up proper pose for the upper body by moving and rotating all the parts. Now I turn the footsteps mode on and make adjustments to the feet position and angle. You can do this by rotating each foot. I also need to adjust the distance between footsteps. This will remove any kinds of snapping. Now I can convert footsteps to keyframes. I don't need all the frames, so I'll select my biped character, turn the auto key on, and I'll go to key info, set up the key on the first pose that I want to keep, and then I delete the keyframes before that, and then I'm going to the last pose that I need. Again, I'll set up keys and I'll delete all the frames afterwards. Now I move all the keys and I'll shorten my timeline to match my animation. I'll convert keyframes again before I center biped for entire walk cycle. To center my biped I'll use new layer. In new layer I go back to frame 0 and turn off in place mode. Then I select the whole character and center it on the grid. Next I go to copy paste options. I need to copy pose from my first frame and paste it to the last frame of my animation. Now I can go back to layers and collapse the layer. And my animation is ready. Now let's make character walk backward. First stretch timeline. Double the length of the current animation. Right click on timeline. Configuration. Click show selection range. Now select all keyframes and flip handle horizontally. And move back to zero. Go back to timeline. Configuration and change it back to original length. And now you have your character walking in reverse. Thank you.